Hey, Bruce Taylor, your boomer consumer. Today we're looking at the newer NW700 Professional Broadcasting Condenser Microphone Kit. And this is the best-selling microphone kit on Amazon as of the date of this recording. Why would you want one of these? Maybe you're going to do podcasting. Maybe you're going to do voiceovers. Make YouTube videos like I do. And you're looking for a quality microphone. But you don't have a lot of money. Don't have a lot of money. I found this on Amazon for $32. My link down below if you're interested. Uh, there's a couple versions of this kit. A four-piece and a seven-piece. The main difference is the seven-piece includes... A, a phantom power supply for the condenser microphone, either earbuds for $60 for the kit if you get that, or $70 if you get the one that has the headphones. But since I got all this stuff, uh, probably a number of you do, uh, I got the four piece for around $32. So let's go ahead, unbox this, and see you know what you get for $32. I'm telling you right now, I don't expect a lot, but uh, we're going to get it out of the box here and then we're going to see okay so i opened it apparently upside down we'll uh open it this way let's see what we get in the box right now so first thing we have is some bubble wrap well, not really bubble wrap but it looks like the pop filter actually pretty nice it's got a little bit of heft to it but uh, this is uh, obviously this keeps those nasty pops down, that sort of thing. Something you're definitely going to need, especially when you kind of talk closely the syllabants of your voice. That when you do the explosive P's, that kind of thing. That's what this eliminates. So, yeah, okay, there's the pop filter. And then this little foam piece that sits on top of the microphone. Again, kind of does sort of the same thing, but not nearly as well as having a regular pop filter. So you've got this little windscreen right here. I believe that's what they call it. And the next piece is going to be the scissor arms. These come in so handy. Let's get it out of the... Let's see, that is bubble. Okay. Yeah. Small ones, but you hear that? A little bubble wrap. Let's get it off of here. There we go. I mean, this is not like a hundred dollar scissor arm, something you get from road or whatever, but it's gonna do the job. It's gonna do the job. Spring loaded. Feels pretty good. It should have a base there with it that a clamp that clamps to your your desk. So we'll go ahead and set this off to the side really surprised everything you get in here all right there's a little manual thanking you from uh, Niwa for buying the microphone tells you how to put together the uh, um, the what, what do you call it? a holder for your microphone you know what I'm talking about so you got the booklet more foam right here this is what will hold your microphone in place on the scissor stand. So this just connects on the end of the scissor stand, thusly, like so. This threads right on there. And then you put your microphone right in here. What else we get in the box? All right, some silica. There you go. The rest box out of here. And then you have an XLR female to 3.5 millimeter uh, jack. What do you use this for? To plug the microphone into, say, a sound card, but you want a sound card that uh, would provide phantom power, which is 48 volt. It will, according to the documentation, actually work on a PC laptop that, as long as it supplies 5 volts of power, but you're not going to get the volume out. It's really not enough power, so it's strongly recommend that you provide phantom power to your microphone. So here we, we have that. Get the rest of the box out of the way. Here's the stand for the scissor arm. This is what's going to clamp to your desk. 
right here. And then you're just gonna mount the scissor arm right in here, like so. You get a lot for your, your money on this. Normally you would buy a lot of this stuff independently. It all comes in this kit for $32. Then here's the mic itself. Get it out of the bag. And there it is, the Neewer NW700. This has a cardioid pattern to it, which means that it should reject a lot of the sound to the sides of the microphone and mostly to the rear. I like condenser microphones because I think they capture a richer sound than a dynamic microphone, but they are more prone to picking up the ambient noise around you. So you really need to be in a fairly quiet room not to pick up a lot of background noise. We're actually going to set this up and just do a little test recording. We'll come back and I'll kind of give you my overall opinion of the sound of this microphone. And we're back and uh, we are now recording actually using the newer NW700 condenser microphone and I'm using it actually on my Heil scissor arm because uh, turns out that uh, the cable that comes with uh, the newer microphone uh, is XLR on one end and then 3.5 millimeter on the other. And to use it with my focus right, I needed a XLR male on one end and then uh, female on the other. So uh, I had already had the uh, Heil scissor arm uh, configured with such a cable. Thought I had a spare and I did not. But anyhow, you're listening to the microphone. Uh, right now and uh, so yeah I think uh, this is probably a pretty good test of the sound recording uh, of how my voice I'm not going to do anything to it uh, I'm hitting somewhere around about negative 12 negative 12 to negative 10 dB somewhere in that range but this gives you an idea of you know the sound I do have the uh, pop filter set up I do have the uh, uh, foam windscreen on here as well shock mount I remember the term shock mount don't worry, you, do you ever have a word on the tip of your tongue you just can't call? So, the newer NW-700 microphone. Uh, so I listened to the recording myself, and it is a solid microphone. Now, this cable that comes with it is designed to plug into the XLR end, and then the other would go into a sound card. Something supporting at least 5 volts. You really want phantom power of 48 volts to get the most out of this microphone. You actually get quite a bit for your money. The stand is fine. The scissor stand is just fine. The uh, foam windscreen is just, that's fine. The pop filter uh, is actually not bad. I've actually paid I don't know, 10 or 15 bucks just for a pop filler alone. So not a bad deal all in all. That is the newer NW-700 Broadcast. Yeah, NW-700 Broadcast um, Professional Condenser Microphone. I want to know what you think of it down in the comments below. This video, by the way, is not sponsored. I paid for it with my own funds. No one's approved this video before. Uh, watching it, and I'm not being paid a nickel for it, but if you like it, if this might work for you, my Amazon link is down below. Bruce Naylor, Frugal Tech. Until the next one.